Workers trying to contain the crisis at the Fukushima Daiichi nuclear plant are facing another problem. A key cooling system has broken down. The workers say a power blackout caused the failure, but they're still figuring out how to put them back online. NHK World's Yoichiro Tatewa reports. People who run nuclear plants don't like to see anything like this. The lights at the Fukushima Daiichi went out just after dark. For a short while, People working inside the plant's accident response center were left in the dark. Then, they noticed the system used to cool spent fuel has stopped working. There has been some decay in the heat level, but the temperature in each pool is cool enough. The disaster two years ago sparked meltdown in the cores of reactors 1, 2, and 3. Reactors 1, 3, and 4 suffered hydrogen explosions. Ever since, crews have been pumping in water to cool them down. They've collected thousands of spent fuel rods in pools. They have to keep the rods cool to prevent another meltdown. The power for that system flows through three high-voltage switchboards. Officials at Tokyo Electric Power Company say something knocked out the switchboards. They don't know what. We still have some more time. We are doing our best to restore the cooling system and understand the situation. It's our top priority. Typical officials say it will take about four days for the hottest pool to exceed their safety limit. 65 degrees. But they say the blackout has not affected the injection of coolant water into the reactors. And they say there's been no change in radiation levels at monitoring posts around the plant. Yoichiro Tateiwa, NHK World. Crews at Fukushima Daiichi work through the night, fixing a problem that could have had dangerous consequences. The system's cooling spent fuel rods in four pools at the plant stopped working. Tokyo Electric Power Company engineers say the systems are running again. A blackout occurred at the facility on Monday night. For a short while, workers inside the plant's accident response center were left in the dark. TEPCO engineers noticed the systems that cooled the spent fuel rods had stopped working. The pools are connected to reactors 1, 3, and 4, along with another pool. The pools contain about 8,500 8, units of spent fuel rods. TEPCO needs to keep cooling water flowing into them or temperatures will rise. If it gets too hot, fuel can melt down and release a massive amount of radiation. Engineers trace the problem to three high-voltage switchboards. They say they've bypassed these devices and reactivated the electricity. They say they've managed to get the cooling systems for all four pools operating again. The engineers say they still have not figured out what caused the malfunction. TEPCO spokespersons say radiation levels around Fukushima Daiichi have not changed, and they say the mechanism that cools the melted fuel in the reactors has not been affected. Engineers at Japan's Fukushima Daiichi nuclear plant say an animal could have been to blame for a power failure earlier this week. The partial blackout temporarily disabled equipment that cools thousands of spent nuclear fuel rods. Tokyo Electric Power Company traced the cause of the power outage to a temporary electrical switchboard. It's housed inside a truck trailer that crews set up after the accident at the plant two years ago. Workers found burn marks on the switchboard's terminals and nearby walls. They also came across a dead creature nearby that looks like a rat. They say the animal is about 15 centimeters long. Engineers believe it could have touched the terminal, causing a short circuit. They say this could have led to problems with two other switchboards. There's a strong possibility that this was a cause, but we're continuing the investigation to confirm what really happened. The systems that cool spent fuel rods in pools connected to reactors 1, 3, and 4, along with another pool, shut down on Monday. The pools contain about 8,500 units of spent fuel rods. Their cooling systems are now working.